Eragon, a byproduct of a trend in the 2000s, where we took every young adult fiction book known to man and attempted to make a billion dollar movie series. Chosen Ones, magic -y Men, and Jacob with his nips out. Hate to say it, but Eragon is essentially the wet fart of the young adult fiction era, or one of them at least. Now you might actually be in the club of people who've never seen this movie. It's actually a very popular club. But even people in that club have played this game. I'm kidding, nobody played this game, and if they did, they're no longer with us. Jokes aside, this is just a lackluster action game that takes inspiration from the Lord of the Rings games. But, uh, but bad. It's, it's bad. So yeah, we're gonna suffer through this one because we've been playing too many good games lately. Speaking of bad games, up on our Patreon right now is our next video, Little Britain the Game. Holy sh**, it's awful. On top of that, you also get access to our super secret Discord where you can recommend games and, you know, just have a chat. But yeah, let's get into this sh**. Chart. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's do this. There's the infamous Aragon logo, dude. Yes, from the hit movie, motion picture extravaganza based on a book, Aragon. Oh, God. oh my god, this menu is fucking awful. You know what it reminds me of? The menu from the Lord of the Rings game we played. This is just so bare bones and bad. There was a time. When the kingdom of Alagesia flourished, a time without tyranny or fear. When dragon riders feel disguise, but that time has long passed, and the ruthless Galbatorix. Now Galbatorix. <laughs> oh, no. Holy! They just really just <laughs> smash their hands on the keyboard until they got a name. And even Galbatorix couldn't touch one unsuspecting farm boy, a boy whose heart burned with hope. And courage. What's his name? It's Aragorn, his name? dude. Is that Aragorn? Is that his name or is that the dragon's name? Oh, oh. God! A little closer, and you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Aragorn, the farm boy. He's a farm boy, but he has a sword, and he's off on an adventure to fight. Uh, what's his, what's the the guy's name? Garakrix or something? Gilgamesh. This game has like combos that it expects me to remember. And all the combos are so similar. You're supposed to be writing this sh down, dude, so that you have a uh, better gameplay. Ooh, look at that back backdrop. That, that sure looks nice. <laughs> oh no. It's literally a JPEG. A low-res JPEG. Guys, this game was on PS2. What did you expect? It's like the Truman Show, dude. We're in a false reality. Oh, yeah, we are. It's just a backdrop that the, the producers put in for Aragon. That would be a great idea for a fantasy novel, like wouldn't it? Like the Truman Show, but in the fantasy times. Yeah, yeah, and they, they they all gaslight him into thinking he's the chosen one. Yes, yeah, but he's not. You know, for his whole life, but he actually has no significant power. Other than that he's the star of a, <laughs> of a reality <laughs> fantasy show. Okay, you know what? You don't need to buy Tears of the Kingdom, guys. You can buy Aragon for PlayStation 2 on eBay for like $3. Oh, here we go. Another great cutscene. Uh, here he is, Gilgamesh. Oh, no. The stone, Arya. Hand me the stone, and you will live. Gosh. What did he say? He said, "Gosh, that!" <laughs> oh, that was the whole level, apparently. Okay. This is gonna. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> I don't know. This is gonna be bad, dude. Who knows? It, it might surprise us. You know, we we've been uh, we've been surprised before. Aragon has found a strange blue stone. That ain't a stone, man. That's a fucking egg. That's a bollock. It's the magic blue bollock. Eragon eventually discovered that what he found in the spine was not a simple stone, but an egg. But a testicle from a big <laughs> dragon. That's Jeremy Irons, or it's supposed to be. There he is. This is young Jeremy, dude. Look at his haircut. Oh, fuck. We're in fight. Uh, uh, oh, no, I missed him. Oh. Thank God that the AI is absolute trash. Oh, what is that guy doing up there? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Are you all right up there, dude? You can probably just leave him. You can probably just leave him. I don't think he's coming down anytime soon. Okay. Oh my God, anytime. Okay. <laughs> anytime. <laughs> Do we have to kill these guys to go forward? Oh, I'm oh, up now here now. You're there. <laughs> now you're in the shop. And Jeremy Irons is here too. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> can, can we move? Can we, like, go on to the next stage by walking I, somewhere? No, of his invisible oh, walls no. everywhere. Oh, no, dude. Oh, we're stuffed locked. 
No, guys, stop spawning into this clump, man. <laughs> Dude, I feel like if we just left the game on, we would come back and the whole screen would be full of people. Yay, we're playing it on a real PS3 now, so it looks kind of like sh but it's fine, because it actually works. But it's fine, we'll, we'll get over it, because at least we can play the game. I'm just going to do this, honestly. It's way easier than fighting yeah, it. I mean, I understand why Legolas uh, did his Legolas thing, you know? This is great. Oh, that guy just got crushed. Oh my what god, what is, is that? that? It's a ring race. Oh dear. What's going on? People are just getting attacked for some reason. The whole village is being pillaged. This is insane. What about my family? Do my family die? Is that what happens? Is that what incites his adventure? No, what incites his, his adventure is his haircut is so bad that he gets bullied. Uh, by the whole village. Yeah, he gets he gets bullied by everyone in his in his village, and he's he's so angry that he goes on a bloodthirsty revenge. Ah, fair enough, fair enough. I don't blame him, to be fair. That really is the plot. I just looked it up on Wikipedia. That's not actually the plot of Aragon. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Does anyone... The American one got it wrong. <laughs> the American one. I don't even think there's anybody a to defend this movie. I don't know, you'd you be surprised, man. You'd be surprised. <laughs> this shit was so fucking garbage. I I don't even rem I remember seeing it once and just nothing. He knows about dragons. Those things are creepy as f dude. Oh my god. What are they supposed to be? They're demons, dude, from the great beyond. He's got a health bar. I've only just noticed. Oh no. If he dies, I bet you it game over. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, just like when Will Smith dies. Brom and Aragon return too late to save Aragon's uncle Garo. And realizing that a new dragon rider had been chosen, Brom led the distraught Aragon to safety. He's a dragon rider and he's been chosen, okay. Oh, uh, so he's like the chosen one. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. So he's gonna have a scar uh, or some kind of marking, but instead of it being a lightning bolt on his forehead, yeah. it's gonna be like a dragon on his hand. It's, it's like a squiggly line on his end. It's like, kind of like a tribal yeah. tattoo on his hand. Aragon named the dragon Sophia. So Sophia? <laughs> That's not really an epic <laughs> dragon name. Okay, whatever. You, you you get to name it. You're the chosen dragon rider or whatever. I'm gonna go get these guys. They think they can fire arrows at me? I am Aragon, dragon rider! If you don't get to ride dragons at all in this game, I'm gonna be very disappointed. You know what? I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a little guesstimation, all right? Yeah? I think there's gonna be dragon riding in the game. Yeah. But it's gonna be an onion ring section. Oh no, not super, not Superman. Oh! Oh my God. <laughs> He just got wiped out by- oh, oh! Damn. Okay, we got magic. You used magic. A gift all dragon riders possess. Why didn't you tell me that? <laughs> Why did you not tell me? What the f***, dude? How did I do it? L1, I think? Oh! Okay, also, what's the point of having the magic uh, spears or whatever? If you just have an, have an arrow. Is it like one shot kill or something? It takes like 20 years for him to charge it up, man. It's so dumb. It's gotta be a one shot. Look, I'm gonna do it now when he's not fighting me. Yay! Oh. Okay, yeah, it's one shot, it's one shot. Okay, that's the only benefit of it. It's a one shot, but it takes nine years to fucking load it up. Now cut the line with a precision shot. Cut the line with a precision shot. What are those, fish? Okay, rest in peace into the dysentery water. It was nice of those guys to just wait. They're like, guys, dude, give give him a second. He's set. He's lining up his shot. Oh, I can push and pull people with magic now. Look, I can do more things. Oh, you've got the force, dude. Can't get me here from here, Aragorn. Oh, oh. Well, it's a nice ability to have. You know, it's like in the Star Wars game where you just force push people off the platforms. Force push, yeah, yeah. We gotta play another Star Wars game. Oh, I'm thinking. Phantom Menace for PlayStation 1. Ooh, ooh. Then we can use, say, the Obi-Wan lines. Hello there. Protect the villagers as they put out the fires in the town. This is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're being attacked. They're being attacked. Oh, but she just, she beat this guy up with a bucket, though. They're just harassing him, man. She died. Oh, no. <laughs> she walked into the fire and died. Oh, Jesus Christ. It doesn't even matter that they die, dude. It doesn't even matter that they die. Yeah, they just send, like... Two new villages in afterwards. They're in a line waiting to go. It's crazy that they bothered to add blood in this game, you know? I know, right? Wasn't the film just like, I don't know, PG or something? Like, what's the point of making this game T-rated? You know what other game this reminds me of? Which? 
There's a Beowulf game that came out at one point. Oh, God. And I think it plays just like this. But I could be wrong. I haven't played it myself. To be honest, we'll probably get to it at some point. I think we'll just end up playing every single fucking game that ever existed. Yeah, where am I going, man? Are you going to tell me, Jeremy Irons? Am I supposed to go down there? I got to backtrack? You got to backtrack through the whole thing. Go back down. Go up on the other side. Uh... Kill all the people on that side. Open the gate. Honestly, it'll probably make you do the same thing where it's like... Um, protecting villagers as they put out fires but just in a different location i love protecting villagers it's my favorite thing yeah you're right as well look at that checkpoint okay we're here to actually put this fire out now we could have done it earlier but we were like nah okay but this time don't walk in the fire guys all right oh oh my god and <laughs> <laughs> one of them walked in the fire oh these enemies are annoying man they block like every attack and they knock you over with every hit stop <laughs> hitting me man just let me kill you already. They also just dump an insane amount of enemies on you. It feels like padding, I guess. The game's probably really short, so they're like, oh, just dump like five times more enemies than is necessary. Oh my god, dude. Fuck off, man. Go away. Oh, me armor. Oh, me armor. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, it was so British. More enemies should do that in games when you, like, get their armor off. The Wallace and Gromit character. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sick of seeing these bald motherfuckers, dude. Yes, same. Oh my god. That's so annoying, dude. This game does a great job of making you feel like an incompetent fucking farm boy. I can't see him. He went invisible. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? You gotta use those spears. Oh no, you can just- I just shot him. Oh, you can just precision shot? Wow, the, honestly, the bow is kind of OP. Go, fall off the fucking edge. Yeah, how's that for the king, buddy? Why is so many of the king's uh, warriors bald? Is it because the maybe the king's bald and he feels insecure about it? You know, so he just- uh, He only hires bald people. Yeah, or he makes them, it's like mandatory, you have to be bald. Yeah, look, there he is bald. You're right, I didn't even notice that. When her icon appears, press and hold L1 to lock onto the target, then press X to call in Sephira. Oh my god, it's the dragon, dude. We get to use the dragon. Sephira, we need your help. We're trapped on the bridge. King's soldiers are everywhere. Hurry! I am coming, young one. Oh, she talks. I kind of hate the fact that she talks, man. That's fucking cringe. It is a bit cringe. Should do we hear her in the movie? I'm here to help you, Aragon. You're my favorite. Have you ever seen the film? What is it called? Dragonheart? Have you ever seen the movie Shrek? The dragon doesn't talk in that. That's why that film's so good. Remember when the donkey uh, and the dragon fuck each other and they make a donkey dragon babies? That was weird. That was that was fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird thing that they did. But what were you talking about uh, before I cut you off with the sh with Shrek? Have I ever seen what? What was it called? Dragon Breeders? Dra no, Dragonheart. It's a different. It's uh, a movie. Dragonheart. No, I've not seen Dragonheart. I, th I remember that film from my childhood, but I don't remember whether it was good or not. Were you a dragon kid? Not really. <laughs> Oh no, she got shot by one arrow. Isn't she a fucking dragon? That shouldn't matter. Yeah, who gives a shit? She's a talking dragon. Pain, stabbing. Get out of here, Sephira. It's too dangerous. Yes, young one. Oh, this is fucking cringe. This is fucking cringe, dude. They speak telepathically. I hate that. Pain, stabbing. What do you guys kiss after this? Yeah, of course. He loves his dragon. Him and Sophia. I got hit by an arrow. Come kiss it better, Aragorn. You just know there's a subset of human being on the internet who is a little bit too into dragons like that. You just know oh, it. Oh, of course. You just, you just know it. Of course, man. Dragons are sophisticated beings. I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna die again. How am I supposed to deal with three guys with arrows at the same time? The only thing you can do is fire an arrow at them, but... This would be a great time for my fucking dragon to help me. You can do it. You can outclass these fools. No, you can't, actually. Never mind. And then Jeremy lives on. Jeremy lives on, but the heroes have failed, even though Jeremy's still alive. So that'll be the only use of the dragon, I guess. Um, for now. I'm sure it'll come back later on, but... Maybe there's a mini game where they kiss after. They, they kiss the dragon and the boy, and they talk telepathically. Sophia, no! <laughs> we can't tell them about our forbidden love, Sophia. They won't understand. <laughs> they just won't get it. That's why they have to kill me. They think I'm weird, because I like my dragon. And I like to kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Into the 
Where did he come from? They're just climbing up. They're just climbing up from somewhere. From what? The water? Are they like water dwellers or something? Oh, bullshit. Uh, no, they're not because when you kick them in the water, they drown and die. Was he just hanging there all day waiting for you? I'm gonna jump up and surprise that dragon fucker. Bazinga. Bazinga is what he just said. <laughs> Bazinga. Oh. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Catch four doves to complete your training. Okay, we can't be that excited though because it's probably just as shit as the rest of the game. But at least it's something different. At some point, is there gonna be enemies that we kill instead of just doves? That would be fun, I guess. Can hope so. Okay, oh, Jesus bit. Christ. <laughs> In the context that we were talking about this, that sounded awful. <laughs> There's no limits to your power when you ride upon me. <laughs> That's just... Oh, man. I wanted to say Bazinga again. Bazinga! <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> he actually uh, says Bazinga. Oh, my God. What are those things? Oh, it's the demons. Now we get to kill, uh, kill enemies with the dragon. That's fun. Oh my god, they somehow made... This is just... They somehow <laughs> made what's a, what should have been the most fun part of the game uh, so fucking stupid and bad. Oh, it's just bad, man. This is horrible. Look at these guys. Why do they move like that? This is arguably worse. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like I would rather have the action sequences than this. Like, I'm glad that they added it. You know, because it's nice to have variety, otherwise the game gets stale. Mm -hmm. I mean, the game got stale already. It got stale after the first 10 minutes. But just like, wow, this is just so sh Again, I just feel bad. Like, the PlayStation 2 library was so vast, and there was just so much mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. garbage. It's like the Wii. A lot of the time as a kid, you'd spend m money that you really didn't have anyway on a game, and it'd be like all your money. And then it'd be some shit like this, and you're like, great, well... Well, that's my game for the year. Yeah, yeah, and it's this fucking bullshit. Unlockables. What? Art Direction! Art oh, dude, yes! <laughs> With any kind of fantasy property or fantasy game, what you want to do is you want to make sure that everything looks over and above fantastic. What I did was uh, I went back to painters that were painting landscapes these guys look at these beautiful paintings these are these beautiful paintings that they base the game <laughs> yeah, off of yeah. where was that sh and they, 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 they look at that that looks Junk nothing is, like is, it is yes well um in this game we just thought just make a bunch of shitty environments we're like hmm uh we'll take this guy's great paintings and we'll kind of just make a generic bullshit level there's interiors and exteriors and there's a great there's interiors and exteriors <laughs> i guess oh wow i guess there is i love i love <laughs> i love having interiors and exteriors Okay, so I'm gonna put a controller in your hand. You play the game, and then I'm just gonna kind of point at the screen like I'm directing you. <laughs> yeah. This will be in the middle of like a, of a very intense battle. The second one would be maybe you know talking, and the last one would be like in the keep where you don't want anyone necessarily to hear. Safira, <laughs> we're trapped on the bridge. The king's soldiers are everywhere. <laughs> excellent, excellent oh, line delivery, mate. That's oh. going right in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dated. <laughs> the zooms with the cameras and sh dude, it's so. Oh, it's so 2006. The whole process to me is just so surreal at the moment. I just, I just, I'm still just a regular kid. And I'm just, I'm just trying to. You know, well, I'm just having a laugh. <laughs> you know, that's all I'm. That's all I'm doing. I'm just, having, I'm just trying to enjoy myself. Well, I'm glad you had a laugh, mate. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself because nobody else did. <laughs> Uh, Aragon the game, the best part about this game was the unlockables. <laughs> As always. Uh, the, the most fun part was looking at a 2006 time capsule. The rest of it was fucking wank. My favorite part is when it ended. Uh, thank you so much to the patrons. We appreciate you guys so, so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for supporting the channel and you make playing th these games, like genuinely here, you make it worth it. So thank you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll see you there.